Well, I usually only eat at Crown because I live off campus, so I don't eat at RDH, but I've heard awful things. And Crown is disgusting because the salad bar is good first two times, but then after eight times, it gets very boring. And there's not that many options, and it's just not very good. So when you try to be healthy, it's not that good. And then I usually get a wrap, but that gets boring too. And then they have pizza. It's disgusting. And I've never eaten any of the other meals because they just look sketchy, and they're never good for you. So I would say the food here is but I live off campus, so I haven't gained 15 pounds because I make my own food usually. And Joni at the dining hall all the time. That is all. The food on campus is pretty gross. The options are either greasy like burgers or gross veggies that aren't even in season or fresh. So, you know, there's not very much variety and it's just hard to, you know, have a consistent diet to exist. Food in the cafeteria is alright, but it's not really that healthy for you because the pizza is always greasy, the sandwiches are always greasy, the fries are always greasy, the only thing healthy for you is the salad, and you can't, you don't want any salad for like, every day. Food here at UNC Charlotte is really greasy and it's nasty, and they don't offer any healthy food besides fruit that's days old, it seems like. It's pretty nasty. And um, not everybody eats a salad. He's a prospector, but there's still really not a variety. Like, oh, honestly, everything on, on campus is pretty unhealthy except the sub list. Um, I think the food is just really fattening and unhealthy, and there's not really good options, and that we should have more healthy options and less greasy food. Overall, the food choices really aren't that great. I mean, you can get fast food, but it's not the most healthy option. And even in Crown, where our meal plan goes, really, unless you're going to eat a salad every day, then you're not going to get any good food. It's all greasy or like pizza, burgers. So, and I mean, I get tired of salads, not every four. So, yeah, they're pretty bad. The size of the gym is not a problem for me, but for some people, the amount of people that are in there and the size of the gym could discourage them from going. Uh, so the, the university should make uh, more advances at expanding the gym. So the gym's kind of small. I mean, the equipment's fine, but we just need more of it. And there's not much room. So if you're trying to do like abs or something, there's room for like four people to do abs at once. And there's not enough equipment. The gym itself is, has nice equipment, but it's way too small. There's, it's always crowded, there's always a bunch of kids in there, and you can't get a good workout because there's way too many people. We, we just need like either a bigger gym or like more smaller gyms. I think the gym here is way too small. There's, it's always so crowded, and when you go there to do an hour's worth of workout, it takes three hours to get it done because there's just so many people packed into a tiny area. The gym is also awful because it's like this big and it's really hot, sweaty, and everyone's it's really crowded. There's never any room, and the machines are always taken. And so, since I don't live on campus, I just go to our apartment little gym because there's no one there and it's so much nicer. And our gym is horrible because it's so tiny and there's so many students. They need a bigger gym. Uh, I think they have good equipment but there's not enough space and poor service and there's just not enough room in general for of all the students we have like we have over like 26,000 students. I used to go to the gym but then 
I just didn't really like it anymore because it was really crowded and it was really hot and I just didn't see the point. The gym at UNC Charlotte is way too small. It needs the equipment there is nice and good for working out, but it's they either need to have more of them or a larger one because it's so always crowded. Even no matter what time time of day you go, and most time you have class if you if you're trying to go on certain days. So yeah. Uh, the gym is really packed, and I always feel like I have to rush my workouts because other people want to use the equipment. Not really me specifically, just because I exercise a lot, but I'm sure the average freshman and stuff, like the cliche freshman 15, is, this, I mean, this helps it. It's bad. So staying in shape at Charlotte has definitely been a challenge since food at uh, Crown, where we have our meal plans, isn't exactly the most healthy. And the gym's like a long way away from our hall. So it's kind of a trek to get there. So it's kind of encouraged my sedentary lifestyle. Yes, I find it difficult to stay in shape. If I lived on campus, it would be much harder because they don't have very good food options and the gym is awful. So those two together don't make it easy. But the only reason um, I haven't gained all the weight is because I can eat my own foods and work out in my apartment little gym and set up on campus. So if you lived on campus, it would be very hard not to get fat. Before coming to school, I was in decent shape, not bad, but not like really good. But then whenever I came here, it got kind of worse, and I'm really lazy now and don't really do much. Personally, I think it's really hard to stay in shape on campus. Between the terrible food they serve at Crown and how pointless it is at going to the gym, I find that walking to class gives me a better workout than anything else here.